for this nation and we're only going to get there in reaching America's destiny if we all unite, work together and um, certainly put aside the pettiness and obsessive partisanship that just gets in the way of doing what's right for the people of America. So I won't participate in any of the negativity. Governor Sarah Palin talking to our own Dana Bash in Phoenix uh, earlier today. For now, uh, the governor will go home to Alaska and remain as governor. Next month, she'll become a grandmother as well. And after that, well, after that, Sarah Palin's future is wide open. But already, there's lots of chatter about her role four years from now. CNN's Randy Kay reports. The next vice president of the United States, Governor... Sarah Palin of the great state of Alaska. For Christian conservatives, it was love at first sight. Sarah Palin, pro-life and opposed to embryonic stem cell research, was about to recharge the Republican base. Republicans were not the least bit excited, and overnight they were just energized and, and thrilled to death. So-called faith moms connected with her as one of them. Being a mom and being a Christian woman. Hockey moms found a new champion. You know, they say the difference between a hockey mom and a pit bull? Lipstick. <laughs> Crowds at Republican rallies swelled. For Palin, it all began here, the small town of Wasilla, Alaska, population 5,000 when she was mayor. This former beauty queen and high school basketball star was later elected governor. She was known for taking on the good old boys network and big oil. In her, John McCain thought he'd found a fellow maverick. But the honeymoon wouldn't last. Back at home, state investigators determined Palin had violated ethics laws and abused her power to get her ex-brother-in-law, a state trooper, fired. Since then, a state personnel board concluded she hadn't violated any laws. And her folksiness proved no match for network anchors. Interviews quickly painted her as uninformed and apparently unprepared to be vice president. On CBS, does Alaska's proximity to Russia really count as foreign policy experience? Well, it certainly does because our our next door neighbors are foreign countries. Putin rears his head and, and uh, comes into the airspace of the United States of America. Where, where do they go? It, it's Alaska. Palin's candidacy was lampooned on Saturday Night Live. Or are we not doing the talent portion? <laughs> and conservative commentators turned on her. David Brooks called her the cancer of the Republican Party. A very smart woman in Ohio told me she's like a sugar high. Uh, you know, she, it, it, was, it was great while it lasted, but it went away pretty darn quickly. CNN political analyst David Gergen says it's clear Palin isn't looking back, but looking ahead. I think toward the end, she was, she was working for John McCain, but she was also working very hard for Sarah Palin's future. Now, if you listen to the political analyst, the general feeling seems to be Palin has not emerged as a front runner for 2012. She was asked by our Dana Bash in Arizona today about that, what she thinks about running in 2012. And Palin didn't say no, but she put the focus right back on governing Alaska Wolf. So what might she do, you think? Well, uh, she could end up with a Senate seat in Alaska, or as we were just talking about, she may even get her own talk show, actually. Hollywood Reporter says agents are already looking at her for an Oprah-style show. And CNN senior political analyst David Gergen says the best thing she can do is disappear for a while, go underground, rebrand herself, maybe do the talk show circuit on Sundays, and just start over. She's she got a future no matter what she's mm -hmm. going to do. I have no doubt about that. Tina Fey, uh, she got a future. Too. <laughs> I think so. As didn't, long as Sarah Palin has a future, so does Tina Fey. Well, it didn't hurt her <laughs> career. All right, thanks very much, Randy, for that. Uh, there's been.